Welcome to Crippling Depression, the series. Today is our first episode of the Northwestern Death Penalty Dynasty. If you saw my last video, it explained why Northwestern has been given the death penalty. It is basically because they were bribing recruits with college football revamped to come and play for Northwestern, so the NCAA gave them the death penalty, took away their scholarships, and now all they have is walk-ons. Now as you can see we are ranked number 16 in the country but don't be fooled that is based off last year when they won like eight or nine games in the game this year we are not going to be ranked very long. Quickly going over this atrocious depth chart starting quarterback is freshman most of these players are freshmen Jeff Harper, the 49 overall, he's got 67 speed. He also has a whopping 60 throw power and 66 throw accuracy. The backup is Dion Smith, so I may try him out as well since he has eight more throw power, but we will see in the first couple games. I'm probably gonna go with the one with more accuracy since we're gonna be throwing short passes anyway. Starting running back is 45 overall, Justin Hines. He's got 72 speed. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. We're not gonna run the ball. It's gonna be impossible with the offensive line we have anyway. Receivers, our number one is Cedric Thomas with an astounding 80 speed and 71 acceleration. Then you have Nate Hill, Will McDonald, Jeff Mitchell, who's actually a tight end, and so is Adam Weatherford. Tight end is, of course, Jeff Mitchell. We just mentioned him. Offensive line, of course, is bad because, okay, spoiler alert, every position is bad. I'm just going to get that out of the way. Okay, the line is a 47 overall, a 42 overall, a 45 overall, 43 overall, 46 overall, left end is a 43, right end is a 45, defensive tackles are 45 and 43, left outside is 41, middle is 47 and 44, I think we're going to run a 3-4 probably, right outside is a 49, corners, you got Alex Cook is a 47, Eric Brown 45, and then Leon Holmes and Steve McCoy are both horrible. Terrence Paz is our free safety at 48 overall. And Trey Finnison is a 43 overall. He's our strong safety. And now introducing the best player on the team, 60 overall, PJ Dunn. He's a freshman actually, number 11. 60 overall kicker. He's going to be booting some 35-yard field goals for us easily. And of course, he's also the punter because the backup punter is a fullback. As far as recruiting is concerned, of course, we are on sanctions by the NCAA, so I'm going to make recruiting hard for us. I'm only going to allow myself to one and two star recruits until we win at least six games in a season which will definitely not be this season and then of course when you're on sanctions you have less scholarships to give to people so i think i'm gonna have myself maybe 10 15 scholarships instead of the regular 25. i'll update you on that in the future but just know that it's gonna be really hard although we do have this 80 overall he's a juco joey taylor He's got 96 speed, 88 man coverage, 85 zone coverage. He's going to be a beast cornerback for us. If we do get him, I really hope we do. He would automatically make us a lot better, especially on defense and the return game. But we actually do have a few solid recruits, like some 68 overalls, but I think none of them are above 70 except uh, Joey Taylor, who's a Juco, as I already mentioned, so he'd only be there for like two years. In the next episode, we will be playing our first game against the Texas Longhorns, who are ranked number seven in the country. Lee Corso is going with us because apparently he didn't hear about the sanctions so i mean we're f f and f they're b plus b plus and a minus so if we were to win this game i it would be a miracle yeah it's gonna be a rough season i i'm gonna be shocked if we win a game honestly i mean i've tried to do one before and i could not even i could barely even score a touchdown so it's gonna be really hard but it's going to be a lot of fun too. I hope you're all excited. So like I said in the next episode, we're going to play Texas. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be a slaughter. So I'm sure you're all excited for that. I know I am. Hope you guys enjoyed this opening episode of our brand new Death Penalty Dynasty. Hopefully this one will actually stick to the channel unlike a lot of series I've already done. But hopefully I'll have more fun with this one. And since it's more of a challenge, hopefully it'll stay on the channel a long time. Thank you guys for watching. If you're excited for the next episode, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.